Welcome to SSR Signatures. In this video, we will be going over the following items. Enabling signatures firm-wide, defining which users are able to access and use signatures, how to create saved messages, document types, and set sender delegation. Step 1. Enabling SSR Signatures Firm-Wide A system admin can enable SSR signatures and manage access by users. To enable signatures, select Settings and then General from the control panel. Locate SSR signatures and set it to On. You will immediately be able to add signatures to the user group of any current users. To add new users to signatures, move to Account Management and User Management. To grant access to users already added, select User Group from the Action column on the right. Move signatures from the Available Groups box to the Current Membership box and click Save. To add new users who only need access to SSR signatures, click Add Users. Fill in the required fields first and last name and email address, create a temporary password, and move the signatures user group into current membership. If that user should not have access to safe send returns, you will also need to remove staff from current membership. Click Save. Next, select Signatures and then Settings from the control panel. Saved message templates can be created and saved. You can have as many as you need. These messages will appear in the email notification sent to each signer, letting them know that they have a document to eSign. A document type is required for every document sent. These can only be created here in Settings. Your document retention period is based on the document type. When you add a document type, you will also need to set a file expiration and activate that new type. If you want to have the ability for some users to be able to send on behalf of other users, sender delegation will need to be enabled. Once this is on, each user will be able to allow specific other users to send documents for them. Each user can do this from their user settings. Select your name in the upper right, and then My Settings. Move only those users who should be allowed to send on your behalf into the Sender Delegates box and click Save and Close. 